Today let's go through bent arm planche progressions, so from beginner levels to advanced levels and also look at transitions in and out. Now compared to the straight arm planche, so this variation, the bent arm planche is much easier to hold, control and learn. If you already have the strength to do a body weight dip and also the balance to hold a crow or a frog position, it doesn't have to be elevated, it could be on the floor, but if you can balance this type of position with that strength of the dip, you can probably already do a bent arm planche. Especially when we look at that initial position, so the bent arm tuck planche position. So I'm gonna make myself into a tight ball. I'm gonna push my arms into the side. So it helps if I'm on P-bars, because straight away I have an external rotation of the hands, but it could also be done boxes or chairs. You just gotta turn the hands out, which brings the arms into the side. So we're looking for this type of position, so we have good contact there between the torso and the arms, and then I step into the position there. Now in terms of balance, I just need to make sure my shoulders are far enough forwards to counterbalance what's at the back, so the hips and the legs. The tighter the tuck, the easier the position, as long as you can easily hold a tight tuck. Some people actually struggle to get into a tight tuck position. If that's the case, having a slightly open position is actually gonna be easier for you. You don't wanna use up lots of energy trying to pull yourself into a tight tuck if you're fighting your flexibility. So think bottom of the dip, arms into the side, tight tuck, take the shoulders and the head forwards enough and you should be able to step into that position. If you need to, you could have toe assist, but your particular setup will determine the height of the box you need if you are gonna use that toe assist. You do have the option to cheat a little bit more as well, so you can turn these bars really far in and actually get a little bit on top of the elbows. Now that's more like a elbow lever type position or peacock, and the downside of that is you're making the shelf part of the movement and it's hard to get rid of it. So as best you can, just try and use friction, so just have the arms into your side, which still allows you to move through that position. So if I'm in that tight tuck, look, I can move around to my support position or my L-sit position and back again because I've only got friction here and I can move the arms and the torso independently. So a nice goal to start with might be a five to 10 second hold in your tuck bent arm planche position there and then the transition through into your support position or you can make it about the L-sit. But going from the bent arm planche to the L-sit is the easiest variation and then if you still have some strength, you could go from the L-sit back to the bent arm planche. So L-sit back to bent arm planche. So working both the transition and the whole time of the position itself is just gonna build conditioning, fill any gaps, and then get you ready to start to open the position up towards the full bent arm planche. Now, just like any other calisthenic skill, we don't wanna think we can go from that tight tuck position to the straight body position just like that. We need to think every bit we move the head and shoulders further forwards and the legs further back is another progression. And that's a really nice way just to scale it and find out where your limitations are. So if you pick a hold time of say five seconds, you can just check, can I hold there for five? Can I open up for five? Can I open up for five? And just keep going until you find your sticking point and then just train that for a little bit longer. Remember at any point you can still do those transitions. So if I get to a semi open tuck position like this, I can still come through to my L sit and then try and find that position again. So I'm not just building the static position, I'm also building those transitions at the same time. And that's just gonna make me stronger and stronger to open out. Now, instead of taking the hips down and the shoulders up to the support position of the L sit, we can actually go the opposite direction from the bent arm planche towards the shoulder stand to that bottom of the handstand push-up position. So I can go from the tuck bent arm planche position up to a tuck shoulder stand. I could go straight shoulder stand, back, and then back to the bent arm planche. And then the same as we've done before, I can open out to harder progressions of that bent arm planche and also take that through to the shoulder stand. So eventually go full planche to shoulder stand, back to full planche. Now those progressions are really good if you want to work something like a 90 degree handstand push-up. It's also really good to fill any gaps to go from that shoulder stand position, pass through the bent arm planche and go all the way through to the L-sit. So shoulder stand to bent arm planche, through to L-sit and I could try and get back. Hard to talk and do that. But you see there, I've got lots of options in terms of balance 
and strength conditioning all the way through from that inverted position all the way through to the L sit. Now things get a little bit more interesting if we start to take the steps or the P bars closer to the floor because I start to run out of clearance at the bottom. So if I go all the way to the floor, a bent arm tuck position is gonna be impossible because my legs are just gonna hit the floor. There's no space for them to go. If I go on something like these steps, I can still go into my bent arm planche tuck position, but getting through to the L sit needs a little bit more elevation. I can get there and I can get through to a shoulder stand, the cap doesn't get in the way, and back again. But I'm definitely having to work harder to compress the body out of the way. But one of the benefits of having a lower surface is you might feel a bit more confident, especially if you're more of a beginner level, because planching or shoulder standing up on higher things is a bit sketchy to start with. If you are working straight arm planche as well, you can use this as a progression. So you could go from a tuck planche position or a harder progression of the planche down to your bent arm planche position, hold, and then you could go through to your L sit. Now that's obviously much harder and you need to have that straight arm planche as well. But if you start looking at your options, you could even add from a handstand position to a planche, to a bent arm planche, to an L sit, etc., etc. So lots of different options. The bent arm planche is a great skill to work on at any level. Just keep it tucked. Keep it neat. To start with, use that tuck position, use the toe assist. You can even use a band assist. Use that little shelf with the elbows a little bit, build the conditioning, build the strength, build the balance there. And then if you're more progressed, open it up, explore planche push-ups, entries from handstand, and all those cool progressions. Now, if you have any questions with this one, drop them down in the comments below. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated. If you're after coaching, check out my app or my website, links down in the description. I'll speak to you in the next one.